Good afternoon. I'm Kimberly Edwards with cookingwithkimberly.com. And today uh, I came in the kitchen. My mom tirelessly baked buns last night, German buns, Svibach. I actually have the recipe on the site. I might uh, include it in this blog post with this video. Anyways, she also made some mushroom tarts last night. And what she does with those is she uses a piece of bread. She rolls out the bread. Just plain white sliced bread cuts a big hole out of it. So what she leaves me with, I had a whole pile of pieces of crust and bread. All kinds of bread. But in weird shapes and what am I going to use that for, right? So the only thing I could really... Um, fathom making, because I already did a bread pudding this week, is breadcrumbs. And we're actually running low on breadcrumbs, so this works out perfectly. I'm going to show you my tray. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take as much bread as you like. This is about a half of a loaf, I would say. She put it back in the um, bag for me and put the twisty tie on. So it's about a half a loaf of bread in its entirety. Uh, about four slices of bread make about one cup of breadcrumbs. That's an approximation depending on the kind of bread you're using, etc. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just breaking it up into tiny pieces, trying to make it a somewhat uniform. And you're gonna preheat your oven to 275 degrees. You are going to then put these in there. You don't need any oil or spray or anything on, on your tray. Um, you just throw it on here. It couldn't be any simpler. Um, you can use white bread, you can use onion rolls, you can use whatever, dinner rolls, any kind of, even sweet bread. Sweet bread can be very nice uh, used to bread meat um, in many different things. Uh, so breadcrumbs is something that you typically need in your kitchen at some point and it's one of those things you're like I forgot to pick up breadcrumbs at the store and then you gotta go and you gotta get them and then you're like forget it who cares but uh, by the time you actually decide you need to go get them get there buy them pay for them drive all the way home you could have already made yours at home now you can use stale bread even day old bread it works very well um, again you can use all different kinds of flavors of bread uh, typically kids they don't like crust on their sandwiches so if you cut the crust off just throw them in a Ziploc bag throw them in the freezer or something like that or in the fridge just until you're ready and you have enough to go ahead and bust out some breadcrumbs now this is a really simple recipe I know I know it seems very simple but I know a lot of people have never made breadcrumbs at home and it's a shame you can also use some of these for some croutons if you wanted to um, chop them into nice little dice chunks and do the exact same thing and toast them in the oven little olive oil little garlic powder something like that but today straight up breadcrumbs so now I'm gonna throw these into the oven I'm gonna bring you over actually hold on one second I'm gonna throw these in the oven I have another tray that I've already prepared so that you can see the end of the recipe today BAM into the oven You're going to set your timer for 10 minutes and in 10 minutes you're going to take them out. You're going to just kind of move them around, flip them over very simply, throw them back in for another 10 minutes. That's about how long it takes. Okay, that's kind of hot still. I'm going to show you my tray already done. Pretty much looks the same except it's toasted chunks of bread. So now it's all hard and crunchy. Now you have a couple options here. Um, if you don't have a food processor, which is really simple, it's just zip up, which is I'm, what I'm going to show you. Um, you can also just use like a resealable bag. Um, I don't want to say the brand name. So use a resealable bag and I'll show you one of these bad boys or even a rolling pin and just crunch them up in there. They might not be quite as uniform. So what? It's breadcrumbs. Who really cares? In the, in the food processor, it's very uniform and beautiful. So basically, you're gonna see this. It looks pretty much the same, right? Slightly toasted, but they're completely dried out. Very crunchy, crispy, right? Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over here. And you're coming with me too. Come on, people. You can do it. And this is like really made, making things from scratch and uh, You'll see that it's always better. Even the breadcrumbs at the store, you're probably getting preservatives and all kinds of nasty stuff in there that you don't really need. Uh, this is a very easy, simple way. Especially if you're baking your own bread at home, you have the butt, maybe the butt ends that people don't really like to eat or something like that. All right, bam. 
we are going to put, this is just a regular food processor. And I'm going to put all of this bread inside of here that's already toasted, okay? There's nothing like doing your own breadcrumbs. You can also flavor them. You can put herbs, um, dried herbs, of course, because everything's dried, right? So you can put dried herbs. You can put garlic, onion, uh, parsley, thyme, rosemary, whatever it is that you really like or that you're trying to um, flavor your food. Say you're doing some, um, hold on one second. Say you're doing fish and you just want to bread fish to pan saute it. Go on and put some, you can put some lemon pepper in there, a lot of pepper. You can put cayenne in there. So many different choices, but just stick with dry ingredients. Got me? Okay. Basically what I'm doing, I'm going to show you sort of as best I can. Um, you're just going to pulse it a couple times and you'll see how quickly this happens. Don't forget, I've got my other loaf, my other bread in here as well. So this is after 20 minutes in the oven toasting. So I'm just pulsing it, letting it sit for a second. It's on the lowest setting because it breaks up very easily. To one of my posts that I've already done um, is called something like exciting ways to bread crumb or crumb your meat for cooking or something like that. Um, I'm including that in the blog post um, as well. You could do this with cereals. You could do it with cornflakes or Rice Krispies. Um, you can use that to powder, to, to crumb your meat. Um, I've even used something as crazy as ice cream cones that we weren't going to use just the cones and just pulverize them up. They work beautifully. <laughs> Actually, you'd be very surprised. The things that you come up with. I was stuck in someone else's kitchen cooking, and that's what they had. Okay, that looks lovely, beautiful, perfect. This is not an exact science. You can make them a little bit coarser if you want them a little chunkier, a little more rustic looking, or you can pulverize them right down like I did, nearly. Okay, I just wanna show you about how much we've got from one tray of what I had. I just evenly spread it out so they could toast easily. That's why I used two pans as well. This gave me about a cup. So that's about right. It's about a quarter of a loaf, so probably about four-ish slices gives you one cup of breadcrumbs. That's plenty of crumbs to use for um, chicken parmesan or veal parmesan or breading your fish or pork chops or anything like that that's going to be delicious with some crumbs. So I'm going to bring you back over to my counter. Easy peasy, right? Simple. I hope that you guys do this on your own. You're going to look like a champion. You're doing everything from scratch. You're so awesome in your kitchen, everybody. So make sure you keep cooking with Kimberly at cookingwithkimberly.com. Go to the YouTube channel. Check out my cool tutorials and my recipes, youtube.com slash cookingwithkimberly. Follow me on Twitter at cookingwithkime with a capital E. And go to facebook.com slash cookingwithkimberly uh, for the fan page. Make sure you like it. I hope you like it. Interact with me. Let me know what's going on. I hope you all have a great weekend. Eat deliciously. Ciao.